here you could see as I am refining my experiments <coughs> of nylon on the wham bam flexible build system seems to be going very well right now I really had to just dial in a lot of the temperatures I'm printing on my Ender 2. It's it's in a giant enclosure because that's my CR10 enclosure, but my CR10 is down right now for repairs. So anyway, it is an Ender 2. I am using uh, Esun's EPA nylon. I'm printing on the Wham Bam flexible build surface. Um, I am using some pretty standard Elmer's. PVA school glue. I have the enclosure heated to 93. I was aiming at like 110 degrees Fahrenheit, around 40 degrees C. And the settings that I feel are working the best for the temperatures right now are 240 degree hot end and 80 degree bed. No build fan. It's really staying down. I'm, the model that I made is a type of torture test. It's got real long straight parts and there's going to be even a big structural fin across the top. When it's done printing, we'll come back and have a look. I'm actually going to leave it on the machine to cool down for quite a while because the strength of the material shrinking really wants to lift up that flexible plate off the magnet. The magnet's pretty strong and it holds it down, but if I do remove it while it's hot, it will allow the part to bend the steel plate. So, come back when we're done. Okay, so here's the moment of truth. I hope that I've uh, followed process well enough to show the light. We have our nylon stress test, torture test printed. It looks like it's holding down pretty well. The Wham Bam flexible plate does not feel like it's pulling up, but there might be a slight curvature to it. Let's see. It's cooled down completely. We're going to peel this off. Just adjust the camera view. There we go. So, looks pretty flat actually. See where the glue left its mark. This looks pretty good. There might be. It's hard to get that focus. There we go. There might be some very minimum quarter lift corner lifting. Well, we've come a long way at least in getting my settings set. Pretty darn flat. Let's see, we could test it like this. There's a straight edge. Looks like just the very corner might have peeled a little bit. Maybe not. Let me see from this angle. Let's see right across the whole diagonal. That's pretty flat. I'd say we were successful. So able to print eSun EPA nylon at a 240-degree nozzle, 80 bed with some regular Elmer's glue stick, and a heated enclosure heated to about 40 degrees C constant. Well, this glue comes off pretty easily with some water or rubbing alcohol. I think I'll be keeping one plate for gluing and one for no glue for all the other materials.